Early voting is underway in most of the country ahead of next week's critical midterm elections. According to the latest CBS News Battleground Tracker poll, nearly 8 in 10 likely voters describe things in the country as out of control. Not a good sign for the party in power. Democrats. As America decides, CBS's Nicole Killian is in Georgia, where the difference could come down to which voters turn out. Get out and vote. With just over a week until Election Day, GOP Senate nominee Herschel Walker fired back against top Democrats. Y'all saw that? Obama came in. I can tell you, he must not like Herschel Walker. Seems to me he's a celebrity who wants to be a politician. And we've seen how that goes. Are you ready to go and vote? The former president was out in force over the weekend in Georgia, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Several Senate contests hanging in the balance. Democratic candidates like Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman are trying to shore up the African-American vote. We're going to keep going hard and to make sure that we'll do everything we can. According to our CBS News Battleground tracker, 47% of black voters are very enthusiastic about voting, compared to 53% of white voters. People are tired, and, and I think their the apathy is kind of thick. Rhonda Taylor is one of several volunteers trying to motivate voters in the Peach State. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Where African Americans make up about a third of the electorate. From souls to the polls to college campus visits. Latasha Brown is a co-founder of Black Voters Matter, which has launched a bus tour in key battlegrounds. I think that you're seeing what you're seeing in Georgia, we're seeing all around the country. She believes the state's record early voting turnout is an encouraging sign. Part of what I think we have to be really careful about is where there are these narratives that are actually in many ways they seek to depress the vote. We need black voters, we need white voters. Into the house of the Lord. Incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock is banking on a multicultural coalition to prevail against his opponent. I think that the differences between me and my opponent are stark. And if you want to represent the people of the state of Georgia, they deserve to know who you are and what you're committed to. The Republican Party has set up community centers here in the Atlanta area and other predominantly black cities to court African-American voters. So far in Georgia, more than 1.6 million people have cast their ballots early, many of them older black voters. So there continues to be a push to drive younger turnout. Nora? That is some big turnout. Nicole Killian, thank you.